Welcome back. If you've just joined us, you're watching the News at 10, live on Channel's television. A quick reminder of our top stories now. Police in Zamfara State arrest 23 people following an outbreak of violent protest by residents in Shafi local government area over the killings in various communities. Allied People's Movement officially adopts Buhari as its candidate in the 2019 presidential election. Party leaders submit letter of adoption to the president. We'll begin our assessment of the year 2018 with a review of activities in politics during the year. Death toll in Indonesia's tsunami rises to over 373, with 128 people still missing. ChannelsTV.com has more information for you and YouTube.com forward slash channels where you can find our videos. You can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser. Download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows devices from your respective stores. Besides giving you access to news and updates on the go, the Channels TV and Channels 24 app have an eyewitness feature that you can use to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, tap and swipe to review the menu and follow the instructions. As promised, the chairman of the NDDC board, Senator Victor Udoma Egba, says that the commission's leadership is unruffled by the activities of some protesters who reported earlier, since it is doing all it can to clean up the huge contract deficit it meant. According to him, over 300 billion naira worth of contracts inherited from the previous administration of the NDDC have been cancelled. When we came in, we inherited over 10,000 contracts. Over 10,000. Now, I did a simple analysis. If we deployed all our technical staff, and when I said all, I mean including drivers and security men to supervise those projects, each one of them will be supervising that volume of projects, at least 50 projects. That is bound to, to bring in efficiency. So the first thing we did, was to cancel over 300 billion worth of contracts. We tried to clean up our, our balance sheets. So with that manual system, there are bound to be inefficiencies, and we are working on those inefficiencies. It's, it didn't start today, you know. Uh, we, we are trying to clean it up, but the mess was deep, and uh, it will take a while to clean it up. From politics to law enforcement, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the EFCC Inugun Zonal Office, has filed a motion for interim forfeiture of $2.8 million before the Federal High Court Inugun State. The anti graft agency also filed an affidavit of urgency for the matter to be heard on December 27, 2018, before a vacation judge sitting in Port Harcourt. The commission had on Thursday, December 20, intercepted the money from two persons, Iho Augustin and Ezekwe Manuel, suspected to be money launderers at Akano IBM International Airport in Ugu. The suspect had confessed during interrogation that they have been in the business of moving cash for some notable banks for over six years and were in the process of doing the same for Union Bank PLC located at New Market Onicha, Anambra State. They allegedly worked for a company, Bankers Warehouse. The EFCC says Efforts are being made to secure a warrant for the detention of the suspects pending when they will be charged to court. It is interesting how these past 12 months have gone by and the year 2018 will be over in another week. It will be equally interesting to review some of the major events that have shaped the very interesting year 2018. Uh, our end of year assessment series of the different sectors, we begin tonight with politics. It's a year that has come with a series of twists and turns. Some political parties died, new ones emerged. Political alignments and realignments were prominent events. In this next report, our correspondent, Shenwo Kimbaloi, takes us on a cruise through the politics of the year 2018. 
2018. It wouldn't be incorrect to describe it as a year of political realignment, elections and preparations for the big election year of 2019. The year of crucial decision for Nigerians. It opened with controversies. One that was resounding was an open letter from former President Olusha Gobasanjo, a man that has shown his resignation from his support to the Buhari government, in which he supported to prominence in 2015. Appropriations and budgetary processes have always come with crises. President's request for farming was a major debate in town. The amendment to the Electoral Act came with its own ripples, and it appears interest overtook some of the major aspects to be reviewed in the law. The debate over the sequence of election tore the parliament apart and led to this, the snatching of the mace. President Muhammad Buhari's trip to the Especially United States terrorism. and meeting with President Donald Trump was a major headline. We also have a very big trade. The reasons for the federal government wanting to purchase fighter jets became a big deal. Some of the decisions of the president got the attention of critics and the supporters too. His pronouncement on the June 12th and posthumous honor to the late MK Abiola, the ascent to the not too young to run bill, are some of the major highlights of the year. Politicians began to focus on 2019, with the PDP apologizing to Nigerians. INEC registered more political parties, and now we have 91 political parties in the country. Congratulations. Two major state elections held. APC's Cardiff Hayami succeeded Ayofao Shia of the PDP in Ekiti State, while Mr. Goiga Oyetola took over from Areguashola in Ocean State. Those elections raised issues surrounding vote buying and INEC made a policy on the usage of mobile phones at polling booths. Major crises emerged in the political parties following different elections. APC experienced exodus. PDP too suffered some. The National Assembly was a major defection battleground. Saraki, Dogara going to the PDP and the likes of Senator Apadio moved to the APC. President Buhari emerged the presidential candidate of the APC, while former Vice President Atiku Abubakar became the candidate of the PDP. Other newcomers or outsiders in the political landscape emerged as their party flag bearers. Some of their running mates were selected for the vice presidential debate, a major talking point in the year 2018, and a precursor to a January presidential debate. The year 2018 might be closing, but it is sure opening us up to a year of opportunities, the 2019, the big election year. The year most Nigerians will be able to decide those who will lead them for another four years. It is indeed a big year and a year full of opportunities. And those opportunities are knocking. Shoa Kimaloye, reporting for Channels Television News. Well, in the spirit of Christmas, the president is promising better times and a great future for Nigerians as they prepare for the Christmas celebrations. In his Christmas message, President Buhari asked Nigerians to reflect on the imagery of the humble, symbolic and divine birth of Jesus Christ and the message of hope, compassion and reconciliation which the season brings. The president also used the opportunity to reflect on the achievement of his administration in the areas of security, economic growth and the fight against corruption. He also promised to ensure the conduct of a free, fair and credible elections next year, insisting that his words is his bond. The president says, quote, my avowed commitment to free, fair, credible and violent free polls is not a ruse or yet another vain political promise. My word is my bond. It is the sole declaration on the advancement of Nigeria, the future and safety of our young and unborn generations. Let us tell the world that indeed something good can come out 
from Nigeria, end of quote. The president also asked Nigerians to remember many others who cannot be with their families this time as they celebrate Christmas. You're watching the News at 10 on Channels Television, reaching you live from Lagos. Still ahead on the News at 10, Nigeria's finance minister highlights key areas to improve the country's revenue generation in 2019, lists achievements in 2020.